Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, you know who it is. And dropping a little response video over here, as you guys may remember from my video that I recently did about Spotify being a bit of a, a musical landfill, which, um, you know, that, that video is not about sort of shutting Spotify down or attacking Spotify or trying to crap all over Spotify. You know, I just find it interesting and I find it very fun and entertaining that with the way that Spotify... Uh, is set up and allows artists of really any stripe to upload all sorts of music, uh, you do get some really weird and crazy anomalies on there uh, that you don't necessarily get on YouTube because I feel like there's greater financial incentive to hop onto Spotify and the way that you game the system on Spotify is not the same way that you game the system on YouTube. So, um, you know, the, the kinds of mutants and oddities that you see over there on the Spotify platform uh, are different than that of the mutants and oddities that you may see on a YouTube. Uh, but that being said, uh, toward the end of the video, or at least at one point in the video, um, I mentioned that there are a couple of artists on uh, some of the more obscure or instrumental or ambient playlists on the Spotify platform who, uh, as Vulture has reported originally in the video that, uh, that I was speaking on, uh, seem to have uh, no online presence whatsoever, <clears throat> like no website, no real label, no real representation, only a couple songs that have been included in these playlists on the Spotify platform. They have millions of views and in, in no other place on the internet do they have like any like shred of, of, of real online presence or existence. Where did these artists come from? Um, you know, while I have no and Vulture has no proof that these artists are fake or they're completely made up, uh, it does seem really odd, you know, because even some of the most obscure artists who, you know, may be throwing me like promos in an email are at least somewhat Googleable because, you know, they put themselves on platforms like YouTube and SoundCloud and so on and so forth. Uh, or, you know, or they make a little Facebook page or they make a website or they have some kind of social media presence. Uh, not the case for some of these artists, most notably the band Deep Watch, which I highlighted in that video. Uh, now, Spotify... Uh, because these claims have sort of rippled a little bit through the uh, music journalism community, and it's been covered on a few sites, uh, came through and responded pretty fast to this stuff. Um, and uh, they basically shut down uh, accusations in this very short statement over here. Uh, shout out to the fader where this uh, article is hanging out. Uh, Spotify says, we do not and have never created fake artists and put them on Spotify playlists. Categorically untrue, full stop. We pay royalties, sound, and publishing for all tracks on Spotify and for everything we playlist. We do not own rights. We are not a label. All our music is licensed from rights holders and we pay them. We don't pay ourselves. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah. So that, that's that's pretty much their statement, um, which, you know, is fine. It's a short, it's a sweet, it's a direct, it's a to the point statement, but it's not a full answer to sort of this really weird anomaly, you know, because I, I feel like for us to really have closure on this issue and for, for everybody to be able to sleep at night and not be wondering what exactly is going on, um, we would need to know who these artists are. Like, who is Deep Watch? Deep Watch would need to come forward and say, hey, listen, I'm Deep Watch. And these are like my two ambient tracks. And this is how I got my two ambient tracks on Spotify. And they're the only two tracks on Spotify of, to my name, or at least to, you know, the, uh, the name of this side project that I have or my main project, uh, whatever pseudonym this artist is creating music under. I don't know the artist's real name. I only know Deep Watch. Um, this is me. This is my project. This is the title. And, um, you know, I put these two songs up and someone at Spotify approached me and said, hey, we like these two ambient songs. Can we put them in our playlist? Um, and then it was just as so. Um, at least that's what I'm hoping the in explanation is. I'm hoping that it's as innocent as that. Uh, maybe it's really convoluted and difficult and challenging to explain, which is why Spotify did not explain it over here. I'm just sitting over here wondering who, who is Deep Watch? I want to know who Deep Watch is. That's that's truly, really, truly what I want to know. I want to know who Deep Watch is, and how Deep Watch's music got into that playlist. Um, do I feel like I I have a right to know? You know, uh, it, it, Spotify can answer me or anybody else who's wondering this at their leisure. Uh, but you know, just uh, let it be known that um, uh, we're curious. 
you know? And while some people have been accusing Spotify of fraud as a result of this, um, I personally don't feel that way. You know, if Spotify wants to do this, if Spotify wants to create a self-curated playlist of commissioned ambient songs to go into an ambient playlist that they themselves make on their own platform, personally, I feel like, well, I mean, it's it's their, it's their platform. They can do whatever the hell they want on it. You know, honestly, like I'm not, I'm not trying to bully Spotify here or accuse them of fraud or, or saying that they should be sued or some bullshit like that. That's, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm advocating. I know some articles out there have gone that far. That's not personally what I feel. Um, but you know, still it, it, it is kind of a curious thing. It is kind of a weird, again, a weird anomaly. And that's what I feel like primarily the Vulture article was about just these weird freaky things that turn up on Spotify because of uh, the way the platform works. And uh, the article made a very astute observation as to how these sort of playlists function. You know, and if you also know anything about these playlists and labels and uh, music PR, you know that, um, you know, artists don't typically land in these playlists without some kind of connection or representation or, um, uh, you know, discussions. Again, how this, nobody knows who the hell Deep Watch is. Nobody knows who this is. How did this person get into the playlist? Are you telling me that somebody who runs Spotify just stumbled across these two perfectly three minute and 30 second ambient tracks and was like, well, these would work perfectly for our ambient playlist. Blah, blah, blah. You know, maybe that's the case. Maybe that's in fact what happened. Um, but, you know, uh, until it's sort of like highlighted and explained and, uh, you know, the proof is sort of in front of the in front of our faces, we can only guess. You know, we can we can only uh, <laughs> we can only theorize as, as to how things came about. Um, and I'm going to leave it at that next to my head over here. You can check the original video that I did on this topic. Uh, what do you think of Spotify's response over here? You know, is it uh, enough for you? You know, is uh, 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 the, the music media just kind of desperately grasping at straws here? Or is there something kind of fishy and weird going on? Um, you know, let me know down in the comments and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ah!